Oh, there's where the smell came from. It is human shit. See? Oh my god. Nice, okay. Well, I'm glad I don't have a gag reflex anymore, I'll tell you that. It's fixed. Oh yeah. They gutted the cake. They took the cabinets, bro. Look at this. I've never seen this before. Who takes the cabinets? Did they take the mirror too? Or was that always gone? Oh, yeah, no, they Not took the mirror. mirror. Yep. Yeah, they took the mirror. I have the right to bear arms in my home, which I have in my home. And you know, that's why I created that uh, blog, the living blog, the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. You dumbass motherfucker, you're just another fucking Russian Jew. We were at Elmira yesterday for four hours, I never showed. This smells so fucking bad in here, dude. It's, it, actually, it smells like decaying animal or something, like a dead rat or some shit. Yeah, probably something like it's, it's, There's got to be like dead mice in here. And I understand. I, I know. I've been to prison five times. I'm not afraid of prison. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to do whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm glad I don't have a gag reflex anymore, I'll tell you that. Working here has taken that away from me, thankfully. First time I had to do a unit like this, I was like gagging the whole time. Mm -hmm. Now I don't even need to use the cigar or the vapor rub trick anymore. I just walk right in. And you know, that's why I created that uh, blog, the living blog, the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I wrote that, you know, as I talk right now, seven years ago, I wrote that in 2015. Uh, as a way to grade neighborhoods on an A to F scale, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to entail your amount of crime, your blight, you know, just your destruction, right? So you get people from like Sacramento, California, New York, whatever, that are unfamiliar with Cleveland and don't understand why houses in certain neighborhoods are going to be half the price of houses in uh, other neighborhoods. Well, when you end up in neighborhoods that are just filled with uh, blight and crime, that's what you're going to get. I mean, to be honest... I don't really like driving through these neighborhoods or having to come down to a lot of these neighborhoods because, you know, oftentimes they're just so sketchy, man. Like, it's, you know, it's it's just dangerous, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm over here. Every time you have to come down to certain neighborhoods in Cleveland, I mean, you literally have to arm yourself. $750 million. Which one is it? Piece of shit. That just don't even phase me. It's insane. It's pretty gross, but, you know. But hey, you know, if someone rents this, they get a free ironing board, so that's a plus. Like, there's like... They fucking... They take the rid of holes in the wall. You see this? 
go ahead and get a blooper reel while we're at it. It's fixed! Oh yeah! What else we got that's good? Lunch. There's some big assholes in that room. <laughs> There's like a sticker under this one. Cole's cash. Is that Cole's cash? Yeah. Yeah. They fixed the hole with Cole's cash. I mean, it's ridiculous, and it's not about uh, you know arming yourself because you're a tough guy uh, or you're like a cowboy or you know a badass watching like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie or something like that. No, man. Uh, it's just completely. It's about safety. I mean, I got kids, dude. I got kids at home, so. You know, whenever I'm out in a less than stellar neighborhood like this, whenever I'm out uh, in an area that is just so rife with crime, you know, I'm gonna make sure I protect myself, right? I mean, knock on wood, hopefully I won't ever have to use it. I've never used it, uh, had to use it before. Um, but, you know, if it comes down to it, I'd rather have it and not need it, have it and not use it rather than not have it and end up dead, right? You know, my kids become fatherless because I was trying to, uh, you know, buy real estate uh, in the wrong neighborhood without, you know, being prepared. Like, that's the kind of stuff that people from out of town, they really don't understand. Like, we get a lot of people who invest in the Cleveland market and, and they're just not familiar with this type of blight. They're not familiar with this type of crime, right? Like, they've never... They've never experienced uh, this type of lifestyle before. They've, they've never seen it, right? They couldn't fathom uh, what it's really like in, in some of these neighborhoods. They gutted the kid. They took the cabinets, bro. Look at this. I've never seen this before. Who takes the cabinets? If you send me any more mail, it will be harassment, harassment, harassment. And I'll turn the attorney general into you. I'm not I'm, 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 yeah, yeah. Assholes, you're fucking stupid motherfuckers. That's a first. Right. I can't even believe that. They actually ripped the cabinets. That's impressive. I gotta take a picture of that. Wow. How do you even get those out of the wall? Yeah, really. What did they do? That's unreal. What else is great? Let's go get a good look at that toilet. I guess I'll probably use this narration, so... Here you go. You saw a walkthrough. Now we're going to highlight all the worst possible things we could find, guys. Bathtub's pretty good. They left a uh, nice clog in there in the toilet. Can't really get that on tape, but... Trust me, it's there. Did they take the mirror too? Or was that always gone? Oh yeah, they, they took the mirror. mirror. Yep. Yeah, they took the mirror. Pay for my shit, or pay me my money back, and I'll get the fuck out of here. But you're gonna stop stealing my shit. You guys broke in here again illegally, stole my money, and stole my shit again. I about all, all my other stuff that they took. It's amazing how, how the man himself, Logan, Change to my phone. I change. Listen. So, wow, that's a nice sheet man collection. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, sometimes when uh when the basements look like this, I've had had it where the dude gets there and he like looks and he's like, I don't even want to go down there. Yeah. You know, that's what we like to do here on Holton Wise TV. We like to uh, give people, you know, a true and real world uh, look at, at what it's actually like down here in Cleveland, right? Like if you watch the Tennis from Hell show, we're doing live evictions, we're doing uh, move outs, 
were going through properties. Uh, the people, they just, they look on Zillow or they look on Realtor.com and they're like, oh, that's cheap. I must be able to make a ton of money. But, you know, these are people that, that really don't understand what it is they're actually buying. I have the right to bear arms in my home, which I have in my home, and I have the right by all means to protect myself. I think they took the ventilation in the ceiling. Look at this ceiling vent, dude. Jesus. <laughs> it's just like a, it looks like one of those things that, remember the old McDonald's like things with the playhouses? Yeah. It's like a McDonald's playhouse tube up there. Jesus Christ, okay. So there you go, guys. Here's been your tour of uh, 4601 Memphis. As always, I'm sorry for whoever has to come in here and smell this. I mean, I've gotten used to it, but you probably won't. Oh, uh, there's where the smell came from. It is human shit. See? Oh, my God. Nice. Okay. Well, have a happy day, guys. You guys are the dumbest fucking company in the place of the world. Why would you spend money to send this to me? I'm on a gold mine, you fucking dumbasses. And you, you're you sitting on a fucking landmine. All your properties are landmines. You can't even, you're like Mount Lake Realty. You're going down. Mount Lake Realty can't even afford to fucking take care of their own properties. You dumbass motherfucker. You're just another fucking Russian Jew. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.